Okay, I'm out here on this Engway Engine Pro 2, and this is a fat tire bike. It's got a uh, torque sensor, so that's cool. It really moves over the drone back there. Today we're going to talk about the Engwe Engine Pro 2.0. But first, let's talk about unboxing this thing and putting it together. Okay, I just got the new Engwe Engine Pro 2.0 and I'm going to put it together, but I have some help today, so we'll see how long that takes. Putting this thing together isn't terribly difficult, but you need to kind of clear some space and grab some tools. I recommend a wire cutter, some good Allen wrenches, a screwdriver, uh, and a box cutter. And first, you gotta kind of clear out all of the packaging uh, before you can kind of put it together. You gotta get the fenders on, you gotta get the uh, pedals on, and the steering column. And that was actually kind of the trickiest part. Um, you have to pull out a bolt from the steering column and then put the folding steering column on, but you can't lose that bolt, right? Um, I initially didn't put it on and the steering column was wobbly. So if your steering column is wobbly, go back and grab the bolt that was in there initially, unfold it, and then screw that down because that is super important. And without that, uh, your steering column is going to wobble a little bit. I did that initially, so... You know, I, I suspect other people might have that issue. Otherwise, putting this thing together is fairly straightforward. Um, you know, you make sure that you, you get everything on nice and tight. I kind of get things into place um, before I tighten them down 100%. Uh, you know, you got that rack on the back. That's one of the last things that you're going to do. But overall, not a difficult process. Um, I put my handlebars on incorrectly the first time. You can see how they're kind of leaning back. I had to take them off and put them uh, leaning forward. So that's another issue, but it didn't seem to matter because I had to take it apart and put that screw down, that bolt down the middle of that uh, steering column to hold it in place. Now this bike has a top speed of 20 miles an hour if you're just using the throttle, but if you're in pedal assist mode, you can push that up to 28 miles an hour. Now it does have a range of up to 28 miles. That's if you're just using the throttle and they say a range of 68 miles if you're going to do pedal assist. Now range is such a fickle thing. It matters where you're riding and how you're riding and who is riding and all of those things. So Again, just keep that in mind. Now, those brakes are nice. They're they are hydraulic disc brakes, 160 millimeter brakes. I already mentioned the dual suspension. I'm a big fan of that for sure. Now, they recommend this bike for riders five foot four to six foot two. I'm about five eleven, and I found this ride to be fairly comfortable. My son, who's about five foot four, I had him ride this as well, and he also really enjoyed this bike. Actually, he really enjoyed this bike. He wants this bike to be his. Uh, we'll see about that. You know, it does fold up. Uh, when it's all folded up, it's basically. Uh, 41 inches by 21 inches by 33 inches. Uh, when you unfold it, it's basically 69 by 22 by 48. So it's a decent sized bike, but it is not a gigantic beast of a thing. Um, and I've definitely got a few of those e-bikes as well. One of the things that I really like about this bike is that it has a torque sensor, right? A torque sensor is absolutely going to be better um, than a speed sensor. Uh, so a speed sensor just kind of senses when you're pedaling. You get a little bit of uh, ghost pedaling uh, is, is what it's called, where you're just kind of pedaling, but it's still pushing that motor where the torque sensor uh, is sensing how hard you're pushing, and it'll give that amount of power. So it's definitely a better sensor. It's a better uh, model. It's a better thing if you're into e-bikes. All right, so let's talk about what makes this different from the original Engine Pro. So if you're kind of debating, do I want the original? Do I want this one? Well, that one had a, a less powerful motor, right? The original Engine Pro was a 48-volt, 750-watt motor. This is a 52-volt, 750-watt motor. And that means it's more powerful. It's going to generate more torque, right? The original 55 newton meters of torque, where this one is 75 newton meters of torque. And the sensor, now that is a big deal, right? Uh, we went from a speed sensor which is what's going to be in pretty much all of the lower cost bikes right when you get to a torque sensor which is what this has 
um, it's gonna be it's better it's a better way to ride now uh, with that uh, higher voltage motor we need a higher voltage battery so we went from 48 volts um, to 52 volts um, same capacity though both 16 amp hours now the top speed is actually different right so the other one was faster just on straight throttle or pedal assist mode we got to 32 now this one uh, with throttle is 20 miles an hour and um, pedal assist is 28 and I'm pretty sure that that is because of uh, some laws and rules and regulations so they kind of uh, toned it down a little bit now could you probably change some of that stuff uh, likely right uh, you know I don't mess around a whole lot with that I don't need these bikes to go super fast I just need them to get me from point A to point B the handlebars are nice and comfortable the LCD display is colorful and bright enough and I'm a big fan of having headlights in both the front and a tail light in the rear all right, so let me recap this for you. I, I'm a fan of this bike. I really do like it. It's not too big. It's not too small. You know, I probably don't plan on folding it and unfolding it. I find that that, you know, I'm not a big fan, right? I don't, it, it takes up quite a bit of space, even when it's folded. Uh, so I don't know that that's a huge advantage. I like that the battery is kind of hidden in there. So I guess that's a bonus. Um, but yeah, the, the folding doesn't do anything for me, right? It's, it's just a, it's, it's a good bike. It's a nice mid-sized bike. Um, I do really like that rack on the back. It just, it's really nice to be able to carry stuff with you. Um, and it's very sturdy, um, pretty solid. I imagine you probably even put a seat back there. Probably not my cup of tea, but overall, I like this bike. I love the torque sensor. I'm a big fan of the dual suspension, and I like the nice 20 inch fat tire ride. It just does well. You know, I'm probably not going to take this thing off roading, but it can handle uh, some of those bumps in uh, uneven terrain and things like that. This is a very capable bike and definitely something that I recommend, right? I had fun riding it. My son had fun riding it. This one, this is going to be a keeper for sure. Hey, if you have questions for me, throw them down in the comments below. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for one of these bikes, uh, we have links in the description. They are affiliate links, but they help support this channel so we can continue to make content for you. Hey, good luck, everyone, and happy riding.